Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the next video. So basically, if you have not seen this problem yet, you are missing out something. So one chance is one possibility is that you had seen this problem. Okay, so you should have should for sure try it. If you have not seen this problem, then you should have seen it because it's a very important problem and there's a high chance the variation of this can be asked in an online assessment or an interview. Specifically in online assessments, it's very, very, very important. So yeah, if you have not, so it's the only chance that you should see this problem very carefully. Before further ado, let's have the problem itself. For the say says, find the longest valid obstacle course at each problem. For landing, no worries, let's see the problem. You want to build some obstacle courses. You are given a zero index integer array called as obstacle of length n. So what we have with us is obstacles of length n. Where obstacles of i describes the height of the ith obstacle. Basically every indexed value, every value at a particular index represents the height of that particular ith obstacle. Cool. For every index between 0 to n minus 1, which is i is from 0 to n minus 1, find the length of the longest obstacle course. Okay, we have to find that something called as the longest obstacle course. And how this longest obstacle course is defined is nothing but you can choose any number of obstacles between 0 to i. If for the ith, for the ith index, you want to you want to find the longest obstacle course, then first condition is you choose any number of obstacles between 0 to i which means after I, I cannot look i need to only look at 0 to i cool one thing i need to look at for i i need to look at 0 to i only one another thing for this longest obstacles course is that you must include the ith obstacle in the course this ith obstacle needs to be included 0 to i have to look cool but i of second i have to have to include with me cool no worries you must put the chosen obstacle in the same order as they appear so basically from zero to i let's say here it comes more but from zero to i i'm choosing some things because it is saying that i can choose any number of obstacles so i'm choosing some obstacles but I need to choose them in the same order they appear from 0 to i. If I choose this, after that I have to choose this, after that I have to choose this in the same order as they appear. But in between 0 to i only. Where condition that i is always for sure included. i is always included. Cool. Up till so far it is good. Seems good. Every obstacle except the first. Every, every obstacle except the first is taller than or the same height as the obstacles immediately before it which means that for this obstacle right here the obstacle before it should be the same height or smaller which means the obstacle after it it can be taller or the or of the same height it is saying every obstacle except the first except the first but why first because for first there is nothing back so first is for sure free to have okay I am the only one. I am the only one you should consider. It's good. But for the next ones, it should be taller or of the same height as obstacles immediately before it. The obstacles, if I choose this, let's say I choose, I have all these options, right? And I choose, let's say these, this, this, and this. And for sure, I will always be chosen. So every obstacle which is before it should be smaller or the same size smaller or same size which means if the size is 5 it can be 5 or less than 5 which is let's say 5 4 3 and 3 let's say it is 4 it can be 4 or less than there which can be it can be 4 let's say it can be 4 or less than it which can be let's say 3 2 1 anything so basically it is how i will say okay i have found the longest obstacle course and for every i have to find this longest length of the longest obstacle course for every i i have to return this answer now cool so we get to know these three conditions that for every obstacle i i need to have three conditions in order that i first include this particular course with me i have to get the before courses heights in the same order and also what i need to make sure that the height which is just before me for this i the thing which i just grabbing before it 
वट्स एवर हाइट आई एम ड्राइविंग इट शुड बी स्मॉलर और इक्वल हाइट दस आई विल गेट दी हाइट और दी आंसर फॉर दैट आई एथ इंडेक्स दॉन्गेस्ट ऑप्शिकल कोर्स लेट्स टू गेट द एग्जाम्पल टू एक्चुअली सी वॉट दिस प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली मीन If you just look at the example for the obstacle as one, two, three, I have this obstacle. For this, because see, I have to find the length of the longest obstacle course for every of i. So I have to go in this entire array to get the answer for every i, right? So for this first type, what is the answer? What is the length of longest obstacle course? It is only one because it is just one. Nothing is before it. I can't check anything. Cool. It is just one. For this i index two, now the i is at a value two, so the length of the longest obstacle course is I can just grab it. For sure, I have to grab it. One condition is satisfied. I have to go back and look at the numbers which is just smaller or equal to me. Smaller is nothing but yeah, I have not equal but smaller I have okay one. So one two, it can form a length. It can form a course, and it is the longest obstacle course I can find. Okay, cool. So answer is two. It is the length of the longest obstacle course for this. I where we point at three, I can just go back. It should be smaller or equal. Yeah, it is smaller. I can go back. It is smaller or equal. Yeah, it is smaller. It is three. For this particular I, I can go back and see. Okay, I can't choose for short three because it is more cool. No worries. I can choose two because it is smaller or equal. I can choose one. It is smaller or equal. Okay, the answer is three. You got to know one thing. For every index i. I am trying to find the number of such smaller or equal elements before it, but, but, but not any random smaller elements. Which means if I had two and one, if I had added something like two, one, three, two. So for this two, number of smaller elements before it are two and one. But is this the longest order course, obstacle course? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No. Why? Because if I just choose one, I cannot choose two. The condition was anything before it should be smaller or equal. I cannot choose two. If I choose two, and there is like nothing before, so I need to choose a smaller element. But condition provided that it should be in the same order. Okay, order is same. Yeah, order I'm maintaining. But also that every obstacle. Is taller than or the same height as the obstacle immediately before it? Immediately before it, it should be taller or of the same height immediately before it. It is not, so it can't choose this two. Which means I can choose this two immediately before it is this number, which is one, and I have this number, which is says every obstacle except the first one is taller or the same height obstacle immediately before it. So if it is before it, so I have this element two, which is after it. It is taller of the same height. It is taller of the same height. That is that we choose. You can see something from this. What is happening? So basically, it is kind of a two one three two. It is kind of a array. I need to choose a subsequence because okay, the order is maintained. You know what is a subsequence where you choose some elements from the array such that the order is maintained. Okay, I can choose a subsequence such that such that the elements are in the order of increasing. Oh, not increasing, non-decreasing, which means same or increasing. Thus, I have from this entire array for this index i, including this index i, I have to choose the length of the longest non-decreasing subsequence ending at that index i. It is how we build the statement English statement out of all these statement. It just say okay, I have to get the subsequence. It is saying I have to get the longest. Longest, longest, non-decreasing subsequence. Non-decreasing is from here. Subsequence is from here. Subsequence word comes comes from here. Choose obstacles in the same order as they appear. Subsequence, non-decreasing. Exactly anything before it, it should be of the same height or lesser. Non-decreasing. 
सबसिक्वेंस टू फाइंड दी वेट ए सेकेंड या लॉन्गेस्ट ऑब्स्टेकल कोर्स फॉर दिस इंडेक्स आई इंक्लूडिंग दिस इंडेक्स आई वॉट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट नॉन डिक्रीजिंग सबसिक्वेंस एंडिंग एट दैट इंडेक्स आई that is what you have to find let's look at one more example for this two you will see okay it is just one length for this two you can just choose before it it is smaller than it which is two for this one you cannot choose any 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 element which is smaller than it because nothing is there so it is one thus it is nothing but exactly like i have to find longest non decreasing non decreasing non decreasing why because increasing say okay i can just after two i can just say three but here after two i can again choose a two because it is same i can choose same so basically it is longest non decreasing subsequence i have to find for every index i if you would have remembered or if you have solved it this problem then we have solved because basically basically it is none, like none, i think but we find all the subsequences which is basically to reach power n then find okay which is the longest ones in basically n so it is the complexity is to reach power n into n but 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 we had optimized the same thing in o of n square by using a dp but if you just use this o of n square do you think can it work so firstly if you have not if you don't know how to find longest increasing subsequence in o of n square then you can just go and watch this video links will be below for in both amends and descriptions or you can ch just write longest increasing subsequence by rm mittal and it will just come on the youtube search page but still the links will be given down below but yeah if we just look at o of n square then n is nothing but 1 e5 o of n square won't work o of n square won't work so basically i have to optimize it maybe in o of n log n or maybe in o of n can we find the longest increasing subsequence in o of n log n yeah we can we will do this via our binary search and roughly this algorithm is very 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 important it is the most i'm not saying this you will just go and look at the comments the people have decided it was the most intuitive approach they found on the internet so i will just highly recommend this maybe maybe it is not the best on the youtube as like it's very common problem to find an o of n square so no much comments you will find but it was having many videos but still people found it very useful so just go and look how to find the longest increasing subsequence in o of n square after that we will go on to the code so first firstly go on to this then after that because it's not exactly the same it's a bit different because it's longest increasing subsequence while in the problem statement we saw it is longest non decreasing subsequence we have to find so it's a bit modification of this but yeah for this firstly go and look at how intuitive it is to figure out okay by watching this you will actually learn how to solve it after that when you had watched it let's look at the code pretty easily the code says firstly i have this lis as you saw in the video also you have this lis which will actually find okay currently right now for this index i uh, after it is being added or currently at this index okay it is right now my lis longest increasing subsequence and its length will always go on increasing it will never reduce as in the as spoken in the last video also now what i am concerned about is the length of this lis at every index right so i will just have this array of lis length which will seem you keep right now it is the lis length for every index cool i will just go on to every of these obstacles and exactly as what you saw in the last video we have if and else loop if 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 firstly if your lis is empty which means the first element is entering first element can for sure come so if as you in the saw in the last video also first element i pushed in beforehand because it can for sure come but anyways if it comes right here also then i will just mark the condition if my lis is empty it will just be entered only once because lis will be empty only in the starting itself when the first element is about to enter as soon as the first element enter in lis it will have one element so it will never go into this condition right so i just put it here also in the last code video as you saw now lis if it is not there then i will just push in lis and for sure 
it is out my current LIS. So I will just update the length of this LIS with the LIS size. As I told in the video also, LIS array is not the exact LIS. It is just representing the size, the length of the longest increasing subsequence. Cool. And the condition was that if my back element of LIS, which means if this is the LIS array which is formed and the last element, if it is less than or equal to my value, value is the obstacle, obstacle value. If it is less than this value, then I will just push it in my LIS. In the last video you saw, it was less than only, not equal to. On equal to, I will not push it because I want the increasing. But here, I want non-decreasing. So I just put it less than equal to. At equal to also, I can push in my new value. Cool. I will just push in my new value and I will update my LIS length. Now, else condition. You saw in the last video, we had lower bound. While in this case, we had upper bound. Lower bound because lower bound gives us the index of the next higher or equal element if this is the array lower bound will give me the index of next higher or equal element so if i am i want okay i want to i want i have something like this four four five six two now i want to bring this four now obstacle of i is let's say four now i want to update this if i choose the lower bound lower bound will land me at this particular location which is four so i will just ultimately replace this four by four but i want not to replace this four but to replace this five by four because i know one thing my fours can repeat so i just want upper bound of this four to actually replace my five with this four so that i can get these four as continuous so that next time my five and six comes so this five will be added and this then the six will be added Thus, it will just get on increasing. Thus, I will just want, okay, my i should point to next higher value, not equal value, next higher value. That is, I am just using upper bound to actually get this index, which is next higher index. And as you saw, if it is the upper bound right now, if the 4 is updated right now, right here, so it is for this index i, which means for the ob obstacle i, the LIS is up till here only. Nothing is here for this LIS because LIS up till here only for this particular 4. So length is nothing but this index. Index is nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3. But number of elements are 4. So length is nothing but index plus 1. Thus I will just update my length with index plus 1. And also you will see that I will update my LIS. Updating the LIS of index by this value 4. Which is this value of obstacle. This obstacle value. And ultimately... I will just return this LIS length array which I have formed by so much dedication by using a binary search. You can also implement this binary search because in interviews also you can just ask your interviewer what he wants the standard STL to be used. Although like you can also implement the binary search, you are just good at it. If you are not, then just go and watch our binary search videos. It's super awesome intuitive. Um, next, the complexity is open and login because you know you are using binary search for every index. You are using a login time to actually insert or find location in our uh, LIS array and O of N because we are actually using an LIS array. C++ and Python code are down below. I was about to write the Java code but I was getting an error. If you guys uh, can get by using the standard function of uh, Java, uh, binary search function of Java, if you can just write that code down, uh, just add it. I, I'll just add in the comments or in this PDF itself. But as soon as I will just add it, uh, I will just as soon as I just do it, I will just add it in the com in the PDF or in the comments. But yeah, that's all from me. I hope that you guys like it. What was that? But yeah, bye.